Hey everyone, welcome to McGrath. My name is Jason Murley, and uh, I'm here with the Hyundai Kia Ford McGrath team to talk to you about the transition to plugging your car in and EVs. Uh, you've got a hybrid, which has your engine, and they put a, an electric motor in with it in a small battery pack to improve your efficiency. Uh, that'll gain you about 20 to 40% efficiency on your, your car's current efficiency levels. Then you can go to a plug-in hybrid, which takes uh, that hybrid one step further, one step closer to the electric vehicle realm. Uh, they put a little bigger battery pack and they actually put a plug on your car. Now don't freak out. Uh, your lamp at home has got a plug, your TV's got a plug, your microwave's got a plug. So don't get scared of a plug. It's something that you're used to doing. Plug-in hybrid can increase your efficiency on your car 100%. And then you have the final transition, which is a full EV electric vehicle uh, that ditches the gas engine, ditches the gas tank, and on the very bottom of the car has a huge pan of batteries, just like your cell phone, Scott. Uh, and that car uh, doesn't ever get gas because you just plug it in when you get home. So uh, let's go out in the showroom. Let's talk about a couple of options for what's actually in the market. You know, you're kicking around the idea. You want to see what one looks like. What kind of room does it have? So we're going to talk about some of the options that are available today uh, and kind of what's coming in the future because in 18 to 24 months, the market's gonna be full of them. So saddle up your horses and get ready. We're gonna talk about some cars. Okay, so let's talk about biting the bullet. Uh, you're to the point now that you wanna at least kinda explore options. Maybe you wanna sit in one, maybe you wanna test drive one, good luck. No cars in the market, but that'll change. Uh, you wanna kinda take the, start taking the plunge to see what's out there. First thing you're gonna decide is, uh, do you wanna go full electric or do you wanna go partial? right, uh, if you're really willing to take the jump or not, uh, plug-in hybrid compared to full EV. Uh, for full EVs, there's not a whole lot in the market. Uh, there's a few kind of options that are gonna show up uh, out there when you start to do your search. There are a small handful right now, uh, two or three years from now, uh, there's gonna be quite a, quite a few. You're, you're gonna have three or four different options from every brand. So in three or four years, you're gonna have 40 different EVs, you're gonna have the choice to go in between small ones and big ones and fast ones and slow ones. But in today's market, um, you've got the Kia uh, brand that's got a couple of options. They've got a, what we consider kind of a compact crossover called the Nero EV, um, that is good for five passengers, a little bit of cargo space in the back, front wheel drive, uh, no all wheel drive option. And then you've got the uh, new, just out from Kia called the EV6, which is more of a mid-size crossover. Uh, it's gonna give you a larger back seat. It's gonna give you more room in the cargo area. It offers all wheel drive, more performance, more spirited driving. It's gonna be a, a little more car. Um, and so those are your options from Kia. Both of those options are gonna get you somewhere between two and 300 miles of driving, which uh, on a day by day basis is probably gonna last you a week or more. Uh, Hyundai has a car called the Ionic 5 which is a uh, mid-size crossover as well. Uh, and that car, unfortunately, isn't available currently in the Midwest. Uh, they sell those only on the East Coast and West Coast, but they will be bringing those to the Midwest here over the next eight to 12 months. Uh, and then you've got uh, another popular one called the Mustang Mach-E from Ford. Don't get confused, it's not a two-door convertible. It's not a sports car. Uh, this is a four-door crossover. Uh, that they have tagged the Mustang name to to try to give it some attention, uh, but will also give you, uh, you know, it's gonna give you that electric driving uh, experience as well. Uh, a lot of these are gonna be available in either rear wheel or all wheel drive. Uh, so for weather climates and stuff, most of ours are gonna be all wheel drive here in the Midwest. Uh, and then Volkswagen has also got an offering in the EV market uh, called the ID4, which is also gonna be kind of a mid-size uh, crossover. Uh, none of the vehicles in the market yet are big, true SUVs. They're not gonna be the Telluride-esque, the Tahoe's. Uh, none of them are, are real true seven passengers yet, uh, but you will see over the next two years and three years, you're gonna see a lot of cars that are roomy, third rows and lots of room, lots of space that are gonna be available electric as well because uh, they're coming whether you wanna plug your car in or not. Thanks for your time uh, and get ready. The ride's gonna be fun. Have a great day.